As you probably already know, Athens has an extraordinary history. A history that includes some of the earliest stadium construction. So without further ado, here are the stadiums and arenas of Athens, Greece. Leophoros Alexandra Stadium. Speaking of old stadiums, at just a tick over 100, this is the oldest football stadium in the city. That's still in use. You might be wondering why the number 13, which is considered unlucky by many, is depicted here on the seating. Well, it actually has a positive association with Panathinaikos supporters, as Gate 13 at this ground is home to some of the most passionate fans in Europe. One even more unusual feature to this stadium is that there's actually a gymnasium under one of the stands. Galatsi Olympic Hall not only did Athens host the first modern day Olympics, but they hosted it again in 2004 and so you'll be seeing quite a few venues that were purpose built for those games. I guess the 1896 venues didn't hold up so well, or did they? Post Olympics, this arena was home to a basketball team for a few years, but for the last 15 or so years, it has been used mostly for non-sporting events some of which have been a little unconventional. Georgios Karas Karkis Stadium There's been a sports facility on this site since the 1890s, so you might be wondering why this isn't considered to be the oldest. Well, in 2004, the stadium was completely rebuilt and the field itself is now oriented in the opposite direction so there's no possible way that this could be considered the same stadium. Also, it first opened as a velodrome, not a football ground. Despite that history, it's a pretty typical medium-sized football stadium nowadays, but a pretty good one. Peristeri Stadium. Some venues that weren't actually used in competition at the Olympics benefited from it. This received a renovation which included new seats and a new track as it was used as an athletics training facility throughout the games. It has a bit of an odd layout, in particular this stand which stands out. It's a long way from the field and just looks a bit out of place. But I suppose it's only required when there's a full house, in which case it's better than there being no stand there. Panathinaic Stadium as I alluded to in the intro, Athens is one of the oldest cities going round, and so it doesn't come as much of a surprise to see that some of their stadiums have seen better days. But considering it's well over 2000 years old, it's in pretty good shape, probably due to it being made entirely from marble. If I had to criticise the ancient Greek builders, it could have done with some more ergonomic seating, maybe a little bit of roof coverage and it couldn't hurt to install a jumbotron or two. After an extensive renovation, this place actually hosted the 1896 Olympics and hosted the archery in 2004. Analiosia Olympic Hall is situated way out in the northern part of the city, where it's not so built up and there's even a bit of farmland. So it does look a little bit out of place from street level, but not in a bad way. The seating layout is probably the best aspect to this arena. Not only does it look pretty good, but due to the steep seating it makes for an especially intimidating atmosphere. And European basketball is known for its intimidating atmospheres regardless of the venue. It was renovated just a couple of years ago, so it's in good condition as well. Near Smyrna Stadium. Interestingly, the club that plays here was originally from Smyrna which was then part of the Ottoman Empire. But after the Greco-Turkish War, they were forced out of what is today Turkey. Greek refugees from Smyrna moved to Nea Smyrna, and eventually, after being based in Athens proper for several years, the club moved here as well, opening this stadium in 1939. And so, after a couple of tumultuous decades, they could finally live peacefully in their new home, with no more disruptive events to occur in the following years. Olympic Stadium This spectacular stadium was the showpiece venue at the 2004 Olympics, 
Although it wasn't specifically built for those games, it originally opened in the 80s, first hosting the 1982 European Athletics Championship. It was the renovation prior to the 2004 games that gave the stadium these spectacular steel and glass roofs, which really are the highlight of the design. And in a city without skyscrapers, they are literally one of the high points of the city. Well, not really, it is a hilly city. Anyway, it's a beautiful stadium, so it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't have a permanent tenant at the moment. Olympic Velodrome. I swear, nearly all velodromes have a particularly spectacular exterior design. Perhaps it's the elongated shape compared to regular arenas that allows the architect to do a bit more with it. I don't know. It's another venue that predates the Olympics, which I like to see. If you watched the Rio de Janeiro video, you will have heard how they demolished a pre-existing velodrome that was just six years old, prior to the 2016 Olympics. Peace and Friendship Stadium. This venue has a distinctive, but certainly not unique, Pringle-shaped design. It was inspired by Palo Sport di San Siro, an Italian arena that no longer exists. Although it's called a stadium, it's more of an arena, as it's basketball that it most often hosts. However, the surface area of the arena floor is much larger than your typical basketball venue, and that's because it was initially built to host an indoor athletics championship. For a long time, there was an ice hockey team that played here as well, but the rink is no longer in operation. Georgios Kamara Stadium is home to a Poland Smyrnus, which as you could have guessed is also from Smyrna. But despite sharing a similar story to Nia Smyrna Stadium, it's actually Leoforos Alexandra Stadium that it shares the most similarities with. It too has a large, curving, uncovered stand. But unlike that stadium, there is no stand at the western end. Just an arena. Actually come to think of it, if there was a stand on top of that arena, they would be almost identical stadiums. Well, not quite. Perhaps if we turned it green. Oh, uh, 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 how do I... Next stadium, please. The Olympic Tennis Center's main court doesn't deviate too far from the typical tennis stadium design. There are many around the world that have almost the exact same symmetrical bowl layout, but it works. I don't believe it's been kept too busy post-Olympics. Athens doesn't really have a major tennis event these days for some reason. Hagia Sophia Stadium. Having opened just last year, this is the newest stadium in the city and arguably the best. As the name sort of alludes to, the design is partially inspired by the ancient city of Constantinople which is fitting given that the club was founded by Greek refugees from Constantinople, now known as Istanbul. There's even a song about it. The facades are supposed to resemble the city walls, with a fortified tower in each corner. Inside, it more closely resembles a football stadium. After all, it, it, it is a football stadium, not a museum dedicated to Constantinople. Having said that, there is actually a museum within the stadium, partially dedicated to Constantinople. Nikos Gallus Olympic Indoor Hall. With a capacity of 19,500, this is the biggest arena in the country. It's not just the capacity that's incredibly large, but also the sheer volume of the interior. This A-frame roof makes for a very high ceiling. There are also some very big glass windows that let in a ton of light in the day. Other than that, I rather like the colour scheme. There is a lot of grey on display, but due to the splashes of orange and blue, it works. This is a really nice venue. Next door we have the Olympic Aquatic Centre. There are several different pools as you can see, some indoor, some outdoor, some for swimming, some for diving. The main indoor pool, which looks like a smaller version of Nikos Gallus Hall on the outside, can accommodate over 11,000 people. To 
put that into perspective, that is one Olympic sized swimming pool worth of people. Halonikon Stadium Not all of the Olympics venues have been kept in good condition. Perhaps unsurprisingly, there wasn't much demand for a baseball stadium in Athens. It was briefly used by Ethnikos Piraeus, a football club, but not only is it designed for another sport, it's also not that close to Piraeus. So now the venue is being used as a refugee camp. There's also a rather nice hockey stadium that hasn't even been used for hockey since the games, and has fallen into disrepair. As well as a little softball stadium over here. Geez, the sight of these abandoned stadiums on the side of a former airport is kind of apocalyptic. So there you have it, some very interesting venues. Please consider subscribing if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.